welcome back to the channel um the devil is seeking a stronger foothold in jamaica and i have to agree with my friends out of jamaica the many subscribers on this channel who basically had messaged me and um, called me to thank me but i have to say like many of them that what we are seeing is definitely the devil seeking a stronger foothold in Jamaica. One of the subscribers from Jamaica sent this to me from the Jamaica Glean, I think it was, Freemasons Forum to discuss forming Grand Lodge of Jamaica. The thing about this is that lodges have been around for a very long time, but we have to come to the realization that anything that is done in darkness is not of the Almighty. I think a lot of us believe in the Almighty. I myself, I do believe in the Almighty. Yahuwah, God, whichever name you decide to call him. But the Lodge has not been anything that has promoted anything of God, as I know. Lodges hold their meetings in secret. People have to take oaths. People have to take secrecy oaths. People have to do rituals and all that sort of stuff. That is not of Yahuwah. That is not of the Almighty. And now you're hearing about this forming a Grand Lodge of Jamaica. Jamaica has 3 million people, I believe, or 3 million plus. A, a stronger foothold. The devil is seeking a stronger foothold. That's all I can tell you. And what has been happening lately is that there have been warnings, and I have to agree with you guys, there have been warnings. Since October last year, 577 earthquakes and counting since October last year have striked Jamaica. Many of them, you may not have felt them because they were of magnitude 3.1, 3.2. These are minor earthquakes, and some places you may not feel them. A matter of fact, you will not feel them over the entire island, they, they would be in specific areas where the epicenter exists. But you're talking about 577 plus. That's a lot of earthquakes for one island. Now, yes, I agree and I concur with the people in Jamaica that these are warning signs. And this issue of the Grand Lodge is even worse. Anything that is done in darkness is not of God and there can't be that anyone who call themselves a child of Yahuwah would want to associate themselves with anything from Hasatan or the devil. A Christian should not be a Freemason or anyone who serves God or Yahuwah should not be a Freemason. Scripture command is very clear to us. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion has light with darkness, and what concord has Christ with Baal, or what part has he that believes with an infidel? That's in Second Corinthians, and you can go and read it yourself. We cannot be unequally yoked with anything that the devil has in store. This is of the devil. The Lodge, the Mason, whatever you call them, they are of the devil. It's plain, straight. You cannot run away from that. They're doing the things in secret. They're doing the things in hiding. They are dark. They are demonic. That is not of Christ. And they're seeking to set up a Grand Lodge in Jamaica. The devil is seeking a stronger foothold in Jamaica. We are getting the warning signs. We have to take them seriously. So yes, Jamaica, I concur with you and I agree with you that the signs have been telling 577 earthquakes in less than a year and counting is a lot. And that is some serious warning. And I have to agree with you on that matter. And this lodge is not going to make it any easier. How can anyone who say they are serving God, Yahuwah, take the first degree of masonry and say that he has long been in darkness and now seeks to be brought to light. Is it really true that Christians are still in darkness and the only way they can 
into the light is to join the messianic lodge when you get wrapped up and tangled up with yahuwah with god you were rescued out of darkness and the bible tells us that his words his scriptures tells us that they're telling you when you join the messianic lodge when you get into that that you are now seeing the light you're now coming to light that could never be Yahuwah said, I have come into the world as light so that no one who believes in me should stay in darkness. And the emphasis is added there. He said, he also said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life, life. So Yahuwah here is teaching that he is light. He teaches that believing in him removes spiritual darkness. He does not teach that any ritual or messianic or other Otherwise, remove darkness. Nothing else can remove darkness except Yahuwah. So this issue of the Messianic Lodge, the Grand Lodge, want to set up shop in Jamaica. Yes, they've been around for years. They've been in Jamaica. But I tell you, this is the devil seeking a stronger foothold in Jamaica. So I agree with you guys. These are warning signs. All of the quakes that we've been experiencing, 577 shaking, and also affecting the fault line in the Blue Mountain. We talked about all of that. Wake up. Wake up and take the signs seriously. So I urge you, stay on your knees. Keep prayer in your heart. Stay close to Yahuwah. Stay close to God. Because he reveals his visions and dreams to his people. And the Bible is clear. In the last days, many of our people will receive dreams and visions. Some will not believe. Others would. And also, while we do that, I have to let you know that you have to be able to distinguish between light and from darkness when i say that i'm talking about messengers of yahuwah from the fake because the devil can also instruct people with things so we have to be known how to discern the real from the fake but when one of the subscribers sent this to me i said no we're going deeper and deeper into the pits and we have to push back against these kind of things. People in governments, people in society, some poor, some rich, they go seeking the advice of the devil from time to time. Don't get it twisted. There are doctors in these things, teachers, policemen, government officials, all over the world, not only in Jamaica. Right here in St. Vincent, where I'm from, I tell you this, there was a gentleman who had two vehicles, couldn't sell one because he got it through the lodge, joined the lodge, simply cannot come out now because he doesn't know how to do it. Two vehicles, one is rotting down, the other one he has to drive. He can't sell the one that's rotten down either because every time he makes a move to sell it, it cannot start. And whenever the deed is off, it starts. New batteries in it, new alternator you could put in all you want. It just does not start. And whenever that deal is off, it starts. This is how it is. There are others who have joined. Houses that they have built cannot be repaired. They're, they're just rotten and down. You cannot touch it. You cannot get rid of it. This is how Hasatan behaves. This is how the devil behaves. When he gives you something, your life belongs to him. Unless you try to get out of that and repent, nothing is going to happen. You're going to end up in disaster. So I'm warning. Yes, I concur with my friends in Jamaica and I agree with them that there have been warnings and the warnings are plenteous. Take them seriously. And thanks for sending me this article. I didn't want to go through it because I'm not even going to give them prominence, but it struck me to come to you to tell you about this. Stay on your knees. Keep on praying. All right, Jamaica? Big up every time.